what's up the son of a bitch that's me is back after a really long time i'm so sorry i've been really busy doing other stuff that i get paid for because i need money um i don't get paid for youtube yet uh but hopefully one day you never know but i am back and what better place to start than in zimbabwe where there was absolute chaos at a zimbabwean football game the other day uh, Highlanders were taking on Dynamos, it's the biggest game in domestic football, such a massive rivalry. Literally, if you're a Dynamos fan and you're in Bulawayo and you say the words, I'm a Dynamos fan, you just get beaten up. And vice versa, if you're a Highlanders fan in Harare and you say, I'm a Highlanders fan, just you better be able to run really, really fast. This game has always been one just full of controversy, full of bad decisions by uh, referees um, and just a lot of angry fans all the time if it's not going your way. Um, so, this last game on the weekend, Highlanders had taken the lead, it was going well. Good goal from the Highlanders captain uh, from outside the box into the bottom corner. Highlanders leading 1-0, but then Dynamo scored, um, which is already enough to anger a Highlanders fan. But what made it worse was that the linesman uh, gave the guy offside, but then saw that the Dynamo's player scored and changed his mind. So he put his flag up to give him offside. Dynamo's player scored, changed his mind. <laughs> and everyone in the stadium saw. Um, and this was Highlanders' home stadium. And they, <laughs> they weren't chuffed. <laughs> they, 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 they took it out on the, um, the linesman. They started throwing plastic bottles at him. Uh, plastic bottles that sometimes people have relieved themselves in, i.e. they've urinated in them and they've thrown them at him. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> Ridiculous. They started throwing bottles at him and at the other linesman who wasn't even involved in the decision, but he started getting pelted with plastic bottles. One thing you also have to know, uh, Borso is the nickname of the <laughs> the Highlanders, um, and the Borso fans have called themselves, they refer to themselves as Borso Haram. So they've literally named themselves after a terrorist organization. Uh, some fans invaded the pitch, eventually there were riot police involved and in the end, the match had to be stopped because it really was quite a dangerous situation. But what was the best part of this was the narration of the situation from one of the Highlanders' Twitter feeds. Borso Live, at Live Borso, 5,300 tweets, 2,340 followers, but they're only following one person. Now, let's see who that one person they're following is. Disney International Programs. <laughs> Has absolutely nothing to do with <laughs> football in Zimbabwe. Anyway, moving on to the tweets. Match day 8 started pretty calmly. Let's go. Match day 8, 37 minutes. Highlanders 1, Dynamos 0. Kutsanzira. Don't know what that means. Then <laughs> started to go horribly wrong. Match day 8, 43 minutes, Highlanders 1, Dynamos 1. Play stopped as missiles rain after Tembari equalized with an offside. <laughs> as missiles rain. <laughs> plastic bottle. Full of pee, fair enough, but plastic bottle. Fans at Empanqueni Bay continue throwing plastic bottles. They are refusing Ukuti, the dubious linesman, Akubeke. <laughs> They're just refusing the dubious linesman. You are the linesman, we refuse. <laughs> Next one. And now you can see that Twitter guy is angry. It was the mother of all of sides. FIFA laws clearly explain. <laughs> and if you follow that link, it takes you to the FIFA Facebook page about laws. <laughs> then the drama really ramped up. The world watching with bated breath for updates on the situation. The, quite frankly, a dangerous situation, right? Police were involved. There was a lull in the Boso Live Twitter commentary, and no one knew why. As tension increased exponentially, Boso Live Twitter guy unleashed the most Zimbabwean tweet you will ever see in your life. Everybody waiting for an update on what's going on. The match is potentially about to be abandoned. There's people being beaten up on the pitch. Boso Live Twitter guy comes up with this gem and you can hear the panic in his voice. My network line had lost network now using Econet. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> what a guy! What a guy! My net one line had lost network now using Econet. 
<laughs> There's people being beaten up in the stands. Ah, oh, and that's the panic. Ah, oh, yes, like. Oh. <laughs> Why were you using Net1 in the first place? Just start with Econet. Arsenal. <laughs> Arsene Wenger is still at Arsenal. <laughs> Much to the, the anger of many Arsenal fans. Especially this one, in fact. I used to live in Zimbabwe and I watched Robert Mugabe ruin a country and Wenger's doing the same, he's the Mugabe of Arsenal. <laughs> Get out, you chav. <laughs> ah, I said Mugabe Wenger. <laughs> you really know that you have nothing to worry about in your life when you're comparing the manager of your football side to a dictator, I mean... <laughs> British and Irish Lions tour is coming up and I'm super excited for that. Don't normally get excited for rugby, but this is going to be insane because they are going to New Zealand. They've got a sick squad and they are going to take on the best in the world. It is the best in the world, taking on the best in the world, basically. And it's going to be a massive, massive, massive series. Um, probably though New Zealand, because they're New Zealand and they just don't do this whole losing thing, unless it's to Ireland. They, they're probably going to win the New Zealanders. Right, that is all I have time for uh, today, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry that it's been so long since my last video. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, leave a like, uh, subscribe. I think I'm on 49 subscribers. So the next person to subscribe, you're my 50th subscriber. And you, by doing so, becoming my 50th subscriber, you will win absolutely nothing. Because I don't have anything to give away. Maybe I could give away um, the Smiley Rugby Ball, which is on the floor over there. Give me a moment. You can win Smiley Rugby Ball if you get to be um, my 50th subscriber. He is made in China, but he is also signed by the son of a bitch. So, 50th subscriber, you win. You will win the Smiley Rugby Ball, and I'll sew him back together um, before I send him to you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Son of a pitch, smiley rugby ball, and this Star Wars dude also, and this cool coffee cup that I got, which has tea in it. Um, and we'll see you guys soon. Son of a pitch, out. Son of a pitch, out.